Okay guys, so what we're doing is a bit different than uh, a lot of people are used to. We're gonna put our kite out here, so there's not a lot of wind. So the only other way to get a kite up there is fill these balloons of helium. It's quite a big balloon. And then we'll mount it on the back of the, uh, of the kite. We'll get the kite up and going. We've got a little clip here. All this clip's gonna do, it's gonna go over, close it up, and that'll seal the balloon. So we're gonna fill it now. We've got a bottle of helium on the boat here. So we're gonna fill up this balloon and then we'll show you guys how to rig it up on the kite. Always use insulation tape, otherwise if you use other tapes it will burst your balloon. Just to hold in place then. Yeah, it's just to hold in place, because when it gets up there, it's going to start that. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Okay. So we'll get our balloon now. You can see the small swivel that holds the clip in place. When you put it out now, it'll just push it up out. Have you got a specific distance that you like that swivel from the cart? About 50 meters, eh? 50, okay. okay yeah. All right. Just hit this button, and you'll bring your, bring your cart in. Okay, so what we've got here is you've got a little ceramic ring, okay? Which we're going to put a small elastic on, and that, that elastic's going to clip into this outrigger clip. This works on this principle. I'm going to show you the ring. So we'll take the ring, Clip it into the outrigger clip and it's there. So when the fish takes now, just clip it and release your line from the kite line. The little pink dobber or pink float we can see there, that's just so that you can actually see where your lines are, see how far it is because you want to run your line so that that line is on the surface. From there we got a two meter leader so you know that if you see this go to the water it's two meters down so you always wanted that you want it to sit right on top because when it sits on top all your hook everything your leader everything is out the fish don't see it it's a natural bait and it's just a natural reaction from the fish to strike what i've got here is a 60 pound fluorocarbon leader it's a little knot there just clip it on just makes it easy if you need to change baits if you need to change leaders you don't have to redo knots anything and then i've got pink fluorocarbon on so it's the main leader and uh, just a little bead there, that's to protect your knot from the little weight we've got here. The weight is just to make sure that we keep keep that line down and that just protects your knot. So you're not going to shave off or break your line because the sinker mm. damaged damage the knot. What we'll do now is let's get the, the bait in, that's another thing. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a little elastic. We're going to rig this elastic through its back there. I'm going to, it's a needle, you buy them at any needle shop. The elastic goes through the hook like that, sits in the middle of the hook like that. I'm going to pull it, come back over the hook point. Alright, so now we've got it set. Twist it once. Twist it once, come back, come back over it there. You can see how lovely that sits. Okay, that looks nice and proud. There's another elastic which I'm going to put through the, the through the clip. I'm putting it. the line. It just protects your line, so you don't put your line through the clip, and it can actually damage the line. Elastic through like that. 
There we got the elastic. I'm gonna put that elastic, I'm gonna put it in the clip so if the clip doesn't open, the elastic will break. Okay, so now we're gonna let it go. You can see how nice that tackle swims on the surface. Here. Just uh, got a fish on the cart, still putting the bait out, and um, it just smashed this bait on the surface. What this cart does is actually keeps the bait on the surface of the water. So it gives it like a nice presentation on the surface of the water with the fish just sort of almost like fluttering on the on the surface is causing a bit of disturbance every now and then coming out the water going back in still keeping the live bait alive and able to breathe and these tuna cannot do this today On the cart, Kazik.